What's up guys? We are here with Advantage with Extra Shine. At turn 6, I missed a few turns. I think Advantage already got some kills. Mance is going in. So it gets a U-turn crit. Turn 1 of the later that Belly lives. And Shirachi eats up a Psychic. He comes out on the Chansey and he can bring in his Fermosa here and click High Jump Kick. Yep. I mean, he had a Mimikyu in the back. And the advantage said, even if there's a ghost, I don't from TDK, hit jump kick. So I guess he predicted him to. Extra predicted him to not high jump kick because he had a ghost. So SD, Mimikyu SD is up with the red card, and uh, Rapiro gets dragged out into Zab, which just blows this Mimikyu away with a flamethrower or fire blast. Yeah, flamethrower. Shadows need to do much at plus two. The Zyga can potentially still win for extra. Seems to be offensive Zyga. Yeah, Dragon Dance. I mean, he's probably Scarf Fermos. And he lives that. Is he bulky? I assume he's Scarf Fermos. He gets an attack boost to his Adamant. Oh, not Adamant. The plus attack minus Spadef or minus Death Nature. So Ice Beam does a bit more damage. Or it could be Bright Night Blitz. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Scarf, but I thought I thought it was Scarf. Like it doesn't get a speed boost, so I think I think it's Scarf. Cause if you if you run Z move, with if you run Z move without Quiver Dance, you probably would run the plus speed nature to get a speed boost. Like how <clears throat> can the Scarus the Scarus can still win for extra? Damn, extra with some threats. Yeah, like he's in the back with the mon like monster wise, but he can just still win if he goes for Sky Strike here and gets. Like he can go for Sky Strike off a bounce, because maybe he doesn't want to waste the C move. Advantage bring the heat again, though. Good god. Extra with some chance he offense this time. Then expect him to bring that. It's Ice Fang Gyarados, so maybe it's Mega Gyarados. It, oh yeah, it has m doesn't have Moxie, it doesn't intimidate. It didn't pay attention. Gotta have intimidate in the Fermosa, yeah, my bad. So Z-Move is probably on the Majorna then. Tabofini is gonna taunt a Moonblast, yeah, I assume he's gonna... Oh, no, just Menace, okay. But yeah, now he's gonna Moonblast. As he doesn't mega evolve, so he eats that up, and now he can mega evolve and probably, maybe even kill this thing with an earthquake. This might be a roll. Okay, it lives on seven, so that's a bulky Feeny. I'm pretty sure Advantage just wins this now with his um, Fermosa. If he can hit a high jump kick on the Magina, I mean also Jirachi, Jirachi also kind of wins. Chansey and the boys. <laughs> yeah, I just got. I just recorded a Road to Top 10 episode and it wasn't the best, honestly. I mean, I'm, it was fine besides one game where I played awful. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm kind of mad about that. And I was super hungry, wanted to get some food, and this game just popped up. So, excuse my. If my. Excuse if my narration is like bad in this one. So, it was Trick Room. I expected him to be Shift Gear slash Trick Room, yeah. So probably with Z-move and I don't think you can break through the Jirachi though. Like I expect this to be like um, either Z-move, um, Fairy Z-move or um, let's see, could it be the, the Gigavolt Z-move? Let me see his team. So Adventures with Def Jirachi which beats this every day of the week. If he was Scarf Jirachi maybe Exercise had a slight chance but yeah, I use Spadef Jirachi checks a lot in this meta. So I don't see how Extra Shine can win now. I guess he has to get a Freeze or a Para. So it's Bolt Beam again. The last move is either Aura Sphere then. Or Flurken. I assume. But yeah, not too sure what the Z move would be. So now he's just gonna get flinched down. Never mind, he doesn't get flinched there, but I guess the Freeze is really his win con. Man's is really going for it. I mean, I guess I would do the same if it's my only win con. 
an SPL match. Protect is amazing here to start out the trick room turn as as RSV is so yeah. All out pummeling. Z RSV, okay. Did absolutely nothing to the protect. And advantage wins, I think is this his first win in SPL? Nah he won one in RS. He won one in RS and I think he lost one in Sun and Moon and lost one in RS. So he's two and two now I think because he wins this one. Oh yeah, someone said in shit is Shirachi is shit. But I think I used the exact same set. But yeah, um I'm not a tour player, I'm just doing my stuff. I'm using my fun sets on the ladder. Tabulator just gets picked off and the other classes always bring fun stuff, but I really didn't expect from the shark from extra chancy offense with Trick Room Magina. I know that he likes Trick Room Shifki Magina. Or uses it kind of often. I also knew he used Zygarde earlier. I think in the first game versus uh, Snow, Snowy, versus Snowy, I think he brought a Bandit as a Like so, he also has some like cool sets. Thank you guys for watching. Gonna keep this short, so I will upload this immediately for you. So you guys get the content. We have uh, later on. We have Finchinator versus Bandgame, which is gonna be really interesting to watch. And I think there's one other game, but I forgot who's playing. I think Snow is playing with Zomog. And there's also Smog Tours today, I'm not sure if I'm gonna record anything of that or if I'm gonna join, I'm probably not gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna join, probably not, because I wanna record SPL for you guys. And I think Finch and... I don't know if Finch and Ben play during Smog Tours or after Smog Tours. If they play after, I might join. Um, I think I... Oh yeah, what I wanted to say, I missed uh, the Pokemon vs. Will I Oyo or Will you game earlier, which was a bit disappointing, because they played one hour before the scheduled time. So that's a bit sad, but I think Pokemon got a little bit hexed, not sure if it mattered, he brought some weird team with, I don't know if it was Z-Move Kofagrius, but he has a Kofagrius, I'm just gonna wait for his video, like he's gonna probably upload his match anyway, so you guys will see that on his channel, so it doesn't even matter that I missed that one, but it's still always nice to catch games live, I hope you all enjoyed, even though this narration wasn't the best, but honestly I can, I can narrate the best if I see the, the match from Team Preview. And since I came in and this was already like 5 or 6 turns in or something, I was already in the bag and like it's hard for me to analyze then. But yeah, nice to see Avengers pick up a win with a Heat team. Um, but yeah, it's a bit sad for Extra because the, I think, I don't know if the Sharks can still make playoffs, I think they can make playoffs if they win this week. There's like a few teams that can still make playoffs. They're like really close to each other. But I'm gonna look into the score later on. I thank you guys for watching and I'm out.